Egypt has been a popular tourist destination for quite some time now. Arriving on vacation on an all-inclusive system, you are constantly in a closed area under protection. But here, to the dangers. Hi all! Welcome to Camp Scary Stories. Today I will tell you a terrible story that happened to a tourist in Egypt in 2017. I'm very glad that you opened this video, subscribe and listen. It's terribly interesting here. Well, I'm starting. Magdalena Zhuk grew up in the Polish city of Bagatin for 27 years. At 17 she left the family home and moved. Graduated in beauty industry. She worked hard and continued to study. Magdalena always looked great with long blonde hair, beautiful eyelashes, nail, makeup, big blue eyes and cylinder figure. She loved to feel beautiful. She liked to make people beautiful. At 22, the girl opened her own beauty salon. She played sports and worked a lot, really a lot. Magdalena had a young man named Marcus they meet in February 2017 at a concert. Together they were about three or four months. It was just a period of strong love and passion. Marcus had a birthday coming up and Magdalena decided to give him a trip to Egypt for a week with her. She wanted so much that she had to borrow part of the amount from her father. The girl imagined that it would be a dream vacation. The girl put off the surprise until the last moment. Magdalena made a gift on the day of departure on April 25, 2017. In 2017, Egypt tied the requirements for foreign passports for foreigners. Egypt required that this document be valid for a last six months after scheduled date of departure. Marcus' passport had not yet expired, but he no longer meets the above condition. The happy moment was overshadowed. Marcus decided to sell the tours at half price. She posted a post on Facebook, but no one responded. The couple decided that Magdalena would fly alone. She needed to rest. The girl worked very hard, even on weekends. Magdalena was not afraid to fly alone. Before that, she had already rested in Egypt. The girl boarded the plane at Katowice airport on the evening of April 25. Return fly May 2nd. Magdalena landed in Egypt on the night of April 25-26 in Hugada. From the airport she was brought to a four-star hotel located in a resort town called Mar Salam on the Red Sea coast. The day of April 26, the girl spent in the company of another tourist who also flew alone. During the day they drank wine by the pool and talked. Toward evening, when Magdalena began to behave strangely, her new friend pulled away from her. Magdalena began to stand up abruptly and dance, talk loudly and then be silent and look at one point. Witnesses described her behavior as unpredictable and erratic. Closer to midnight, Magdalena began to pester other vacationers and ask where Marcus had seen her boyfriend she flatly refused to go to the room to sleep. She said that she was afraid of hearing voices. Magdalena called Marcos and told him that she was afraid of the stranger in her room. She asked him to call the reception and that someone would come to check if everything was fine. Magdalena did not speak English well. To calm the girl, the whole administration decide to call a travel agency employer a guide named Mahmoud. He knew the Polish language and before that he had already communicated with Magdalena herself. 
he had to reassure the girl and explain the situation to the family. The staff reassured Magdalena. The girl was crying and was afraid to go to bed. Magdalena's relatives were already looking for someone who could come to Egypt and pick her up. On the second day, Magdalena's condition did not improve. According to witnesses, Magdalena was dressed only in a shirt and ran around the hotel. On the same day, Marcus bought her a return ticket for the very next flight from Egypt to Poland. She was supposed to board the plane on April 29. Marcus was very worried because there was nothing else he could do. On Friday, April 28, the situation only got worse. Vacationers found Magdalena lying at the door of her room. Magdalena was put to bed and the video was sent to her sister, who showed it to her parents. The mother was amazed at what was gone. Communication with the girl was no longer. Her phone was turned off. Fighting parents constantly called the hotel tour operator and the embassy. It was decided to send Magdalena to the hospital. The girl was taken to the nearest hospital in the port of Caleb. All this time she was accompanied by a guide Mahmoud. The surveillance video shows how Magdalena enters the hospital with Mahmoud and everything is calm, according to the information provided by the travel agency. The doctors refused to accept her, justifying it by the fact that the hospital does not deal with mental illness. Magdalena returned to the hotel on Saturday, April 29. Magdalena was supposed to fly home, but due to inappropriate behavior, she was not allowed on board. Mahmoud decided to take the girl back to the hotel but the hotel flatly refused to accommodate the troubled tourist again. Then Mahmoud and Magdalena began to go around the local hotels, but there was no place for her. In the parking lot of a hotel, Mahmoud called Marcus on FaceTime. Marcus decided to record the call, since he had already received a message about what was happening from Mahmoud's phone, but never a video of the call. The recording lasted 14 minutes, and some sources say that in fact the recording was 25 minutes. But in the interest of the investigation on the internet, it is presented shorter. After this conversation, Mahmoud again took Magdalena to the hospital in the port of Kalib. She was accepted. When the relatives found out that the girl was in the hospital, they calmed down a bit. As Magdalena's mother said, nothing could treat her daughter in the hospital. At this time, the family found a person who would come and pick her up. It was a friend of Marcus named Matsik. The family thought the worst was over, but it was in the hospital that tragedy struck. You can see how the atmosphere is escalating. She escapes from the hospital room. She is stopped by a group of people and hospital staff. The men grab Magdalena by the arms and legs and bring her back to the hospital room and tie it to the bed. According to the director of the hospital, Dr. Mohamed Sami Goma, such radical methods were applied after the girl tried to jump out of the window and escape. Hospital doctor Ahmed Shoki said Magdalena was given sedatives, but they didn't work as well as they should. The doctor said that they do not have a psychiatric clinic and what they give works differently depending on the person. At night, the girl asked the nurse for permission to use the bedroom. The nurse untied her and at that moment Magdalena ran to the window and jumped down without second hesitation. Having flown 
two floors, she landed on the stairs. The girl was seriously injured and was taken to a Hugada hospital located 300 kilometers from this place. Magdalena died just a few hours later. Marcus's friend, who was in a hurry to see her, arrived to the hospital first, whose mother was told the news was taken away in an ambulance. Magdalena's death was recorded in Egypt as a suicide, but Magdalena was obviously trying to escape, not to kill herself. From what? Or by the actions of what? Two days later, the mysterious death of the girl shocked her homeland. The Polish press brightly covered the news about the suicide, and the press did not agree with conclusion. The Polish police launched their investigation. At the beginning of May, the first witnesses were heard. On my fall, Krzysztof Rutkowski, the most famous Polish private detective, announced that he would help in the investigation. Rutkowski is a famous public figure. He has taken part in the many television shows. Rutkowski has his own detective agency, but he does not have a license. On May 9, he said that he did not trust the Egyptian police. He believes that Magdalena Beetle could not die by jumping from such a height. The detective suggests that she was drugged, and the guide played a key role in all this. Rutkowski claimed that it was Mahmoud who prevented Magdalena from eating on the plane back to Poland. The police interrogated Mahmoud and released him without charge. Mahmoud deleted his Facebook account after his photo appeared in the press. He did not agree to be interviewed. Krzysztof Rutkowski, after loud treatments, not supported by evidence, was forced to reject his words. On May 19, a second autopsy was carried out in Poland. The results are classified. The only thing known to the public is that Magdalena Zhuk was not raped. Injuries were found consistent with a fall from a height. The girl jump unsuccessfully and hit the steps of the stairs. No other signs of violence were found. Traces of patent drugs were also found in the blood, but in the hospital they gave her strong sedative, so that doesn't prove anything. The medicine that was given to Magdalena did not work that way. It could aggravate the situation after taking it. She might not understand where she is and what's going on. The treatment should have been very different. Several versions of what happened were put forward. There many have been a gang involved in human trafficking. The scheme of work in this gang is something like this. An Egyptian lives in the hotel. He looks after the victim. He can also see her anywhere else even at the airport. The offender rents a room in this hotel or in the hotel in the neighborhood, gets to know each other and begins to show signs of attention and other active for the location of the victim. In some cases he does not do without light substations to cause euphoria in the girl. Later they offers the girl a trip on an excursion or a date outside the hotel, and no one will ever see her again. She will be sold into slavery. As soon as the intermediary reserves the money, he immediately begins to look for a new girl. Mahmoud was concerted such an intermediary. Journalists said that Mahmoud has a reputation as a person who has already drugged women but the information has not been officially confirmed. As mentioned early, Mahmoud was one of the first to be interrogated and was released without charge. Magdalena was alone 
and she was beautiful, attracted attention, that seemed very dangerous, that substances should have dispersed her to communication, but something clearly went wrong. To admit that there may be such a practice in Egypt is to alienate tourists from their country. Marcus was also suspect as an intermediary operating from Poland. It was discussed on the internet that Marcus spoke with a man who was assessed of human trafficking, but this information was not confirmed. Doctors were also assessed to throwing Magdalena down in order to get rid of a witness to their mistake. Unlikely. The doctors and hospital staff communicated openly with the police and went through interrogation procedures. Another version is a sexual exploitation but only for the night. They wanted to use Magdalena by sprinkling medicines. Farewell, the victim conscious but then falls into deep sleep lasting even up to 24 hours. The offers get full access to the body. Waking up, the victim does not remember anything. This terrifying practice is becoming very popular in many countries. Special clusters for glasses are already being produced. If you put a few drops of a drink in which there is a substance on the stand, it changes color. The drug test was even hidden in nail polish. If the nails change color, then the composition has clearly changed in the drink. It is best not to accept alcoholic drinks from strangers. The offender may use psychotropic drugs that can cause absolutely unpredictable consequences. This substance can lead to coordination problems, panic attack, paranoia and psychosis. Several news sites published the news that phrase of the substance popular in Africa were found in the blood of Magdalena Zhuk. At the beginning it causes euphoria, then the person begins to behave strangely, more aggressively. There are also cases of self-harm. That's all for today. It's a very strange thing. What do you think? Write in the comments. And I say goodbye to you until the next story. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Bye-bye.